Systemic lupus is a disease that affects different people in different ways. It is an autoimmune disease, which means the immune system attacks the body's own cells and organs. When lupus attacks the kidneys, it is called lupus nephritis. Treating lupus nephritis often requires medications that suppress the immune system, which can leave people susceptible to infections, and unfortunately, these therapies do not work for everyone. Because it is a difficult disease to treat, lupus has lagged behind some of the other autoimmune diseases in terms of developing new treatments that are effective and safe. In fact, virtually all of the drugs we have to treat lupus have been borrowed from other diseases. But we've spent decades studying lupus, and we've learned a huge amount about how it affects the cells and organs in the body. That's exactly the type of information needed to develop new treatments. In 2011, we saw the approval of the first new drug for treating lupus in over 50 years. It's called Belimumab, or Benlista. Most of the drugs used to treat lupus reduce inflammation in a very general way. They affect all parts of the immune system, not just the parts involved in lupus. Belimumab is more specific. It affects one particular type of cells called B cells. And we know from our research that these cells are very important in lupus nephritis. Targeting B cells in lupus nephritis isn't a new idea, and other clinical trials have tested drugs that kill B cells. This seems to help in many patients, but the B cells return, and as they do, there is a risk of relapse. We've noticed that when the B cells grow back soon after treatment, there's a greater chance of relapse. So in the Calibrate study, conducted by the Immune Tolerance Network, we're going to try something different. In Calibrate, we will first eliminate the B cells using two drugs called rituximab and cyclophosphamide, which are both approved for other autoimmune diseases. Then, we will try to stop B cells from returning too quickly by giving belimumab just when the B cells start to regrow. We also think that when the B cells do grow back after receiving belimumab, they will be different and less likely to cause a relapse. The Calibrate study will be the first time that rituximab, cyclophosphamide, and belimumab are used together in a clinical trial. The first step is to test this investigational combination of drugs in a small number of people with lupus nephritis while they're carefully monitored for side effects as well as changes in their disease. We've designed the study so that no matter what the outcome, we will learn a great deal about how to better treat lupus nephritis in the future. The Calibrate study is open to people 18 years or older with active lupus nephritis whose disease has returned or who have not improved enough after standard treatment with cytoxan or Celsept. Half of the people in this study will receive rituximab and cyclophosphamide, and the other half will receive rituximab, cyclophosphamide, and belimumab. All participants will take prednisone throughout the study. In all, your participation will last two years. Clinical trials are very important. They're the only way that we can tell if new treatments are safe and effective or not. There are two important things to remember about clinical trials. The first is that they are completely voluntary. The second is that all clinical trials are experimental research studies. That means that we don't know whether the treatments will work. It also means that, like with any medication, you could experience side effects or complications from the treatments. Participating in a clinical trials isn't for everyone. It's a very personal decision, and if you're considering it, you should talk about it with your doctor, your friends, and your family. But it's also a very important decision. What we learn from clinical trials today may help us treat patients with lupus nephritis in the future. On behalf of the Calibrate study team and the Immune Tolerance Network, we'd like to thank you for your interest. <laughs>